Hi there, it's Sam from foodlestock.co.uk. Thank you for joining me today. Uh, today I have an elegant box tutorial for you. Um, I wanted to showcase the sweater weather paper. Um, I know a few people have struggled as to know how to use it and have thought maybe it's a bit too manly or it's just a bit too orange. Um, so I've been using it quite a lot and making pretty things from it, less manly things. Now this box is specifically to hold a bottle of a Barna bath oil, which to be fair actually the bottle itself is stunning and I love this particular range. It's um, it's lovely, and this is a heavy glass. It's a heavy glass bottle, so I wanted it to go into a beautiful box. It's it, like I say, you could sit it on your bathroom window, so quite happily like that. But you wouldn't just hand it over as a gift like that. Um, so I've come up with a box. Now um, I'm going to do it in metric and in imperial for you. So let me get the scoring tool, which I've got here, and actually. I'm on my second take because I did my scoring for my Imperial and then questioned myself on my metric measurements, um, which are fine. So I will come back and I will rescore. So a piece of cardstock that is nine uh, inches by eight inches, which in metric is 24 centimetres by 20 and a half. Now the Imperial scoring is at two and five eighths, four and a quarter, six and seven eighths and eight and a half. Now the metric what I've done with the Imperial is I've measured it so it cuts, you can see that that's the width, that's the depth, and so on. For some reason I've written down the metric measurements so that it goes like that, like that, like that, like that. So they are fine, they will work. Please forgive me, but that's why I question myself. So, in, imper in metric, four and a half centimetres, eleven centimetres, fifteen and a half, and 22 so your score lines would be slightly different so it would be a narrow then a wide a narrow and a wide so anyway we'll we'll you know briefly move over that anyway with the short side at the top that's your eight inch or your 20 and a half centimeter inch score it at one and five eighths of an inch six inches and seven and a half inches and these are correct here for the metrics I'm not going to question myself again four and a half centimeters 15 and a half centimetres and 19 and a half centimetres. Right, there we go. It's always good to question yourself, don't you think? Right, the trimming, actually I'm going to score first. So you just fold on the score lines and just burnish with your bone folder. And apparently leave your nail polish straight across your good grid paper. And then the bottom ones. Part those as well. And these ones bring them forward and then this skinny one fold back. Then the only bit to remove is this little narrow corner here. You've seen me do milk carton star boxes before. It's very simple to fold together. So you just trim, oops, wobble off the line a little there, trim that one as well, I might have, no that one's fine, just trim that bit too, just, this just helps with it closing. And then some sticky strip, you put the sticky strip on this section here, so this little skinny one, all the way from the top to the bottom. and keep it close to the, the score line. And as you can see, I've managed to go right off the ends here with this, so. And I'm now not gonna be able to pick it up. Where's the paper piercer? There we go, and then I've folded over, gone over the top a little there. Right. Now these, these two measurements here are the same as those two, so you can fold and it will perfectly line up. Right, let's lose the excess sticky strip. And then decide which is your front and the back, obviously the sides fold in and the back, and I'm just going to quickly put one little piece of sticky strip on. You would put, a, you know, a piece onto each section. Um, security reasons so that you know obviously by it being a glass bottle 
you don't want it to fall out. I'm just going to put it on the one that is the front that flows all the way round. There we go, so just line it all up. And then the top sections here, you just, let's check the front, pinch and push in. Check that you're creasing nicely. There we go. And that is the outside of the box. I've got some uh, designer series paper. This is the sweater weather and it is quite orange. I will give you that. But I've actually dulled it down. I've taken my uh, Sahara sand ink. I've sponged all of the edges of these. And I'm just going to, which is the one I needed to do, this little one here, just to quickly show you what I do with it. Um, you know, if something has got a little bit too bright a colour and it's not quite right, maybe the colour isn't exactly right for the project, just splodge all over it. You can see it's just picked up a little bit of the colour. This one's a bit brighter. And it's just dulling it down slightly. And if you had lots of time, sponge around the edges of the box, which is what I've done here. You go one side, flip it over and come the other, or you could dot down, it's up to you. I'm not going to do it all because, you know, your time's precious too. And then I'm just gonna put these pieces on. Now, they measure, you need two of each that measure in Imperial, four and a quarter by two and three eighths. And then you need two that measure four and a quarter by one and three eighths of an inch. And then you need two that measure two and three eighths of an inch by one and three eighths of an inch, which in Imperial, no, in metric, is uh, ten and a half by six centimetres, ten and a half by three and a half centimetres, and three and a half centimetres by six centimetres. So you need two of each to do the two sides, the front and the back and then the top. And this sort of softened, grunged up look, really, it, it knocks out the orange, the, uh, the orangeness, I don't know if that's a word, I make up words quite a lot, the kind of the, the brightness of the orange, this is tangerine, tangerine, tangerine tango that's in this uh, this paper and it is quite orange I will I will admit that I will agree with that right some holes I have got a triple stitch going on on my original box I've got four holes it just pulls it closed a little bit more I'm not going to do that today I'm just going to do two very vanilla seam binding ribbon that I'm just going to feed through there if I can a single knot for now. Actually I'm not, I'm going to do a double knot just so it doesn't pop open. And then I've got some vanilla cardstock. Obviously I've got the crumb cake and I've got thank you, just thank you so much, um, which is from the Lots of Thanks stamp set. I love this, there's all sorts, but this is, I like this one because you can punch and go. I've used framelits here, but I'm not going to whop out the big shot today. Um, you know, I'm very aware of, of time, so I have got my one inch square punch, this one here, and it fits beautifully in this one, but I have also got the new label bracket, which for some reason I decided I was going to call the window label in a video, it's the label bracket punch, and they're both lovely, those punches, and they work really well together. Sponge up the edges of this 
and this one. And then do the same. Just beat it up a bit. Not too much, it would hurt. And then some dimensionals onto this one. And into the middle. Pop a little hole in. I have to grab this for now because I can't see my smaller hole. Hole punch, I should say. Feed that through. And then just tie the bow or the ribbon or the knot or whatever you want. Just tie it off. Neaten it a little. Trim the edges. And then I've got a little button. It's one of the, um, the buttons from the bright set. And I'm just going to pop. I've already put some linen thread on it. And I've got a mini glue dot here down at the bottom corner. And I forgot to put this in. Should have put it in as I was going along. Um, but it's a nice little box that, that de-manlies. I don't know. It, it, it stops it being quite so orange and quite so manly. And I think it's rather nice. And well, I, obviously I'm going to say that. Um, and that was my metal ruler that's just crashed down. Um, I think it, it sort of demystifies how, uh, you know, it's taking a paper and making it look different and not perhaps for its original purpose but anyway thank you very much for watching if you want to know how to get hold of anything you know what to do get in touch with me and um, this one and this one is destined for a very special person so thank you very much for watching and I hope to speak to you soon bye